What's going on, guys? Josh with Project Torture. I got a 10th material video for you today. That's right, a 10th one, a two-digit number. Where You guys are like my little children, like my, my little torture kids. I, well, that's, that, that sounded different in my head. Anyway, I'm going to try to teach you something. I like unique things, so I'm, I like to use uh, unique materials and try to create them. But I got this big ball here. Imagine being inside of it, a big old ball, just uh, hanging out in here with the... Uh, it's all bally, but uh, we got it's like a sky almost, kind of like a sky sphere type of thing. If you had like a small world here and you just needed a completely circular material, I'm gonna show you how to make one pretty cool. We're gonna right click material, my name is Sky, and we're gonna jump right into it and get started. So, first things first, go right here and change default lit to unlit and make it two sided because once again, I'm gonna be inside of it, kind of flying around. I wanna be able to see it while we're inside because that's the overall look that I'm going for. But I wanna be doing some lurping, so I wanna have a bunch of different colors kind of lurped between an alpha image. So we need to create one. So let's get started. Texture coordinate. Mm -hmm. We're gonna change that to one to one, right? We're gonna do four and four, and we'll drop the window down. Now you're looking at it, and you're like, that's not an alpha map at all. Just, just give it time. We need a panner. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it in now. It's not gonna do much of a difference, you know, or it's not gonna do much while we're uh, playing with it right now. But just wait, wait for it. Just set the uh, the speed on the Y to 0.2. And now let's uh, type in the word sign. Okay, let's see what we got here if we open this up. That is uh, not exactly what we want, but I can change the sign to the number two. And I can kind of dial it down a little bit. Okay, that's a start, right? We'll just drag a wire from that and type in the word mask. And I'm going to actually take this image and mask out the red so it's only the green. Now I've got two lines kind of like that. What I'm going to do is drag a wire from that, type in the word power. I've got all kind of power, doing powerful things with, 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 with power, P-O-W-E-R. I've had this conversation before. Power, we're going to drag a, we're just going to drop this thing down, and there is my image. Now... I'm gonna plug it straight into my emissive, plug it straight into it like this, maybe, there it is. And I've already got this image and the panner is moving it up and down. So it's kind of doing that thing. So you can see the top of the ball here, the bottom of the ball here. And if I go ahead and save it and look at it, you can see what's going on out here. And it's like, wow, it's like a, well, I probably got to apply it first. Aha, yeah, big old, uh, big old ball full of black and white stuff, yeah. Strange. All right, let's get in. Let's get in. Let's do some stuff. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna need to lurp that and do a couple other things. With it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag a line around all this or a box around it and press C. I'm gonna get a comment box and I'm gonna name this Alpha. That's it. Just keep it simple. That's my Alpha. I've created it and set right there. So we're only gonna need one texture for this material that I'm creating. I'm gonna go to Content Browser right here. I'm gonna type in the word Noise because it's all kind of noise in here. We're gonna drag it in like that and then let's just um. We're gonna use this as another Alpha image and do some lurping. So hold the letter L and get a lurp here, right? Okay, and then we need the number three, and we need the number three. Oh, oh, those are the number four. We need the number three. Hold the number three and get two collars. That's pretty much what you're doing here. And then we're going to need another texture coordinate because I'm going to texture coordinate this a certain way. And then I'm going to pan it as well. So drag a line and type panner, and we'll plug it into the back of the UVs. And there we go. We've got a good start on it. We'll set this to 5.5 and 5.5. Odd word, right? Or odd number there. Uh huh. 0.1 on the X. We'll go ahead and plug this into the alpha here. And we'll go ahead and plug these two into the A and the B, and we need to pick a couple colors. Just gonna pick a couple colors. I'm gonna go uh, real light blue here, okay? There's gonna be real colorful stuff going on today. Real colorful, like I'm gonna have a darker blue here, like that, okay? Drag it up and get that color blue. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna copy and paste. I want a little more darker. Give me a little darker. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of the blue. I wanna drag a line around all that, drag a box, I mean, Control C, and move it out of the way, and then Control V, and I've got a second one right here. All those, wait. Grab them, bring them down like this, and I'm going to change just a couple things. The texture cord, I'm going to change to 4 and 4 now. That's all. And then I just want to change the colors. Uh, how about a uh, kind of a teal? Yeah, you're going to teal, and then I'm going to go like a real bright neon green, maybe like that. Yes. And I'm going to add these two together. Just hold A and get an add, and add your two lerps together. And we're adding lerps. We're adding all kind of lerps, and now we've got something there. So I'm wanting this to be one of the black or the white of this. Guess what that needs? I'm going to have to drag this box out here to keep this in there. I'm going to add another lerp right here, okay? Now I'm going to plug this into here, and I'm going to plug this into here now, okay? And there we go. Now, one I've already created one of these, so I'm going to drag one of these ads. I'm going to just go ahead and plug it into the top. Let's go ahead and plug it into the top and see if it changes. Okay, you can see what's going on there, but let's kind of look at it out in our world and see how much we've really affected this, because we're doing some strange stuff. Okay, as you can tell, if you look at the blue, it's got like a cloudy figure. Yeah, kind of kind of going to the left and right there, huh? It's kind of strange looking, huh? You can zoom out of this big old ball and kind of look at it from the outside, and you're like, oh, that doesn't look near as cool. So I'm going back in. I'm going back in. It's, it's neater in here. You got the top and the bottom. I like that. We're going to jump right back into it, okay? Now, what I want to do, real simple. Well, before this, just do, do me a favor and hold, hold the letter M right here and drag a hold a, get a multiply node and plug that in there and plug that in there. I'm just going to make it not as bright. It's set to 1, we'll put a 0.25. That way it's not as emissive, okay? So what I want to do, the easy part is we are going to drag a box around here, type in C, and we'll type in, what can we name it? Lerp 1. 
That's what I'll name it. That's my first lerp. But now I'm going to drag this entire thing here. Control C, Control V, and put that big old thing down here. You know what I'm talking about? I'll even rename it real quick to lerp2. Huh? Lerp2. All I'm really going to do is I'm going to change these panners to go in the opposite direction. A negative 0.1 on this one, and a negative 0.1. Whoa, whoa, not a negative 1. A negative 0.1. That's what I'm talking about. And of course, the same thing down here. So I'm going to have them go in the opposite direction. And um, we've got those two, but I want to change the colors a little more, a little more exciting, a little, uh, little yellowish, little yellowish color there. I'm going to go into like a, like an orange here, right? Huh? You like the orange going on there? I'm like a big, real nice red really red you know what i'm talking about and then maybe like a darker orangey red kind of like that right there just picking random collars and now i'm gonna do the same thing except i'm gonna plug this into the bottom of the lerp up here so now what i've got is these two giant images that are being lerped between this entire alpha image and then i'm just toning it down a little bit and now we've got this material here and i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna look at it we're gonna look at it and see what we got going on and there it is as you can tell it's pretty extravagant there's a lot going on here there's a lot of a lot of movement and a lot of different stuff like that but hey once again unique materials it's something i'm a big fan of and all of that i mean you know i can't imagine you using this as a sky sphere but hey let me tell you what i'm enjoying myself i'm having a little fun here i'll be guys having some fun so like i said creating just completely unique materials out of nothing is always fun so i just wanted to make one more before we jump into other things i think next week we are jumping into foliage i'm gonna teach you guys how to make some stuff happen with the foliage editor so hey thanks for watching subscribe to the youtube channel please like the facebook page you guys have been awesome i've had a blast with you guys so far we're 29 videos deep we're three months deep we're doing big things having a good time thank you guys for being a part of the team we will be back with you soon have a blessed day